This is Pier 38. If you go down to the auction, you can arrange to come in. You gotta make sure you don't get in the line too close or you might end up buying a fish. But uh, wear some boots and dress warm. It's cold in there. This fishing village is something that all the fishermen enjoy because they are able to come in here and tie up. They have a central location to unload. And then for me and my business, Fresh Island Fish, having actually a forklift drive away from the auction and other businesses, Pacific Ocean Producers, and our restaurants. We have Uncle's, of course, and Nico's. And so it's become a true fishing village, and that's what we're striving for. There's a lot of different canneries that through the years operated. All the aqua boats would unload in Kewalo Basin. The fish was cheap, very cheap. So they had to catch huge volume. 10,000 pounds, that, that was a very consistent amount. That was a time period that sticks in my mind the most. And it was uh, very colorful, very exciting. They were hard to get to know, not the most talkative people. Tenacious, never give up kind of attitude. Proud, humble, bit of Kalohi. You know, they can be rascals. They like their drink, but just very honorable. I mean, that's why I've done this restaurant, Uncle's, was a tribute to them. They're my heroes, and they're of all nationalities. Being that I ate aku for so many years, I love aku. We used to cut it up, and before we even reached a dock, we'd be having a lunch with some fried aku and aku sashimi and some rice, and uh, you know, sitting on the deck on the way home, talking story with all your crew, and you know, it's just a great lifestyle.